vegan because you know, with the exception of like our meat entree today and the chicken on the stir fry, everything else is vegetable. I always post like if items are vegan or vegetarian. Um, obviously, I always make them vegan, but hadn't really thought about the fact that they were vegan. But now that I'm sort of cognizant of the fact that 90% of them are vegan, I'm just trying to keep it that way. Yeah. You know, makes it simpler. But I also do the uh, tortilla crisps. It doesn't matter if a food is vegetarian, vegan, low fat, low cholesterol, low sodium, if it doesn't taste good, people are not going to eat it. Uh -huh. Even if they want to eat we had some focus tastings um, on several days and one of them was related to vegetarian and it was difficult to get them to try it, even taste it, and it was free. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And, I mean, they were like... I think you're tricking them, right? Like, like, I actually had a couple of students, like, some of my kids, they're like, it's too creamy, you must have creamy. No, it's just the lentils when you grind them up, that's the texture. But we try to also be very transparent. I mean, if, if a student wants to see a product, if they want to come back to the kitchen, if they want to see our pantries. In fact, Lydia and I last year did a program in this hall where we did behind the scenes tour with Bon Appetit. And so we did some cooking demonstrations showing them how we make some of these dips. Um, so we had several students to see we buy this stuff. Well, and keep in mind too that our chefs have the freedom. We don't have a corporate recipe that says this is what goes in the food and you cannot change it. Yeah, you know, if Lydia is making a tofu dip and she tastes it and she thinks something's off, yeah. she has the ability to adjust it right there, right then, and she's not going to come out if it doesn't taste.